Hello everybody, Spooky Sand Woman here. Thank you for checking out episode 6 of Asagao Academy. Okay, so last episode, I don't have any idea what happened. Because, God, it's probably been since like May since I've played it and it's almost September now. Um, so yeah. It's going to take a while for me to get my memory refreshed. But... Yeah. Ooh, I'm tired. All right. I mean, that's nothing compared to me, naturally, but there were so many girls with broken hearts. Even I couldn't mend them all. You still hung up on your English girlfriend? Shane flinched, visibly taken aback. Then he shrugged. I don't talk to her anymore. Oh, Shane, I just want you to be happy, that's all. He wiped away a fake tear. Shane grimaced. How great would it be if someone asked me? Maybe even if one of the normal Boots guys did? No, I doubted that would ever happen. They were only letting me sit there because they physically assaulted me. Oh yeah, because I don't remember who did it, but someone like fell on me and got ice cream on my uniform and then I cried. Same, same thing I would have done. I sighed and cut my beefcake with a plastic knife. So, any girls in mind, fellas? Besides me, my shifted nervously. Her eyes kept flicking from Jared to her french fries. She looked like a child who stole several cookies. Wow, she must be really guilty. Jared spread out his arms and raised an eyebrow, a god waiting for names to fall into his lap. I'm thinking of going solo this year, to be honest. Yeah, same. Man, you guys are boring. You aren't much better, man. I? I am on another level compared to you guys. I have already got my choice picked out. I got cat fur in my nose. There was a quiet clattering next to me. Maya had dropped her fork. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you have, and I'll probably be a new choice tomorrow. Jared flipped his hair with his hand. You know me so well. There's only so much time to make so many different girls' dreams come true. I must find the one who is most in need. So it's not even about which one you like, huh? Nope. And you make fun of me. Just then the warning bell rang. It was time to head back to class. As everyone got up to toss their trays, I stood up and, overwhelmed with a sudden burst of feeling, shouted, Thank you for letting me and Mai eat lunch with you today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Hana was having a terrible day and you guys cheered her right up. So, see you guys again tomorrow, same time. Mai tilted her head, eyes twinkling. My, Paul said we could only sit with them today. Eh, it's cool. Paul waved a hand in dismissal, almost dropping his tray with the other. The cafeteria is really crowded and we have extra room at our table. People are too afraid to sit with us or something. Well, we did kick a girl yesterday. All three of them shrugged at the same time, then left the room, moving in unison like a team of synchronized swimmers. Jared dumped his tray and jogged to catch up with them. As soon as they were out of earshot, Mai took my hands in hers and jumped up and down. <laughs> you did it, Hana! We get to sit at the popular table! I've been trying to do this for two years, and you did it in two days! She dropped her hands and made a, jokingly, I think, angry face. Main characters have all the fun. You'll be in pairs painting a diorama or a paper mache lamp, anything postmodern, then write a paper on design. Or don't, that works too. But remember, this project will count for 10% of your final grade, so work hard. Sound good? The only response was bitter murmuring. Miss Shizuka often ended with, sounds good, but she never cared about the answer. All right, in the last few minutes of class, pick your partners and discuss your project plan. We'll continue next time. In a matter of seconds, almost all of the desks in the classroom connected. 
I looked at Mai, but a girl, Mimi Santos, already claimed her. Mai frowned at me as if to apologize. I scanned the classroom for a few other people I met, finding them already paired. I was going to be the only one without a partner. Same. Suddenly, the edge of a desk collided with mine. Oh! <laughs> Guess we'll be working together. Okay! I can take that. I like PBG. PBG sat in front of me with a cheeky grin. Didn't, didn't he sit on the other side of the room? How did he get his desk over here so quickly? He pr someone probably switched, like, desks with them, and he, I don't know. I leaned over to look past him. He'd left a gaping hole in several <laughs> collapsed students in his wake. That would be something he would do. Seeing my gaze, he turned around. Oh, oops. Sorry. He waved sheepishly. <laughs> a boy glared at him. Well, for better or worse, we're partners. I guess we are. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? Wait, no, that's not what I meant at all. You're super smart. I'm, I'm just sorry you're stuck with me. You're pretty smart too, though, right? Not that I knew. I guess, but I hate schoolwork. I don't care about it at all. 10% of our grade depended on this project. Oh, not that I'm gonna make you do it all. I may not like school, but I'm not gonna let someone else fail just because I think it sucks. I haven't done something like that since I was a kid. The girl got so mad. I learned my lesson. He laughed, hitting the desk and crinkling his nose. I didn't see what was so funny, but from the way he was looking at me, it seemed like I should. I smiled hesitantly. He stopped laughing in front of me, the same way he did yesterday. Um, do you like apple cider? No. That's not apple cider, that's ginger ale. I'm sorry? Or, uh, pinball? Or what about magnolias? What? What's with all these? Are you like reading flashcards that got jumbled up or something? Yeah, I guess I do. You guess you do? But you. He sputtered, opening and closing his mouth like he was trying to eat the air. He searched. I searched his face, wanting to help him out. He was clearly struggling. PBG leaned forward, looking into my eyes like he was deciphering a code. Really forward. So close I could see little brown flecks in his eyes forward. Holy shit. Uh. Wow, this is awkward. Thanks, PBG. What? PBG moved away, his anxious look fading into a slight smile. Actually, don't worry about it. Too fucking late! <laughs> Don't worry about it. I was brainstorming, a subject for our piece. But you didn't have any strong reactions to anything, so I guess we won't be doing those then. Oh! The thing- <laughs> Why would we make, like, a paper mache lamp on apple cider? What, are we just gonna, like, take the jug and, like, put flowers in it? Wait, no, that's a vase, not a lamp. Like hell. Well, the bell rang and students started packing up. Oh no, we didn't get to pick a project. I'm sorry, that's my fault. I was messing around. But don't worry, I'll come up with something. Just leave it to me. I don't know if I would trust you, PBG. He thumped his chest as he got out of his chair, striking a pose and giving me a wide, reassuring smile. He shuffled his desk back to the side of the room as I packed my things away. I didn't understand what happened, but maybe it was better to forget about it. He didn't seem like to want to explain. I left the classroom thinking to wait for Mai, but instead PBG trailed me, trailed me into the hallway. <coughs> he cleared his throat and I turned to face him. I tilted my head an uncomfortable degree. He was tall, but he was scratching his neck, avoiding eye contact. So I know you said you were fine at lunch, but are you sure you're okay? I mean, you were really freaked out yesterday, so... 
Heat crept its way onto my face. No, I'm alright. As long as you're fine. If you need help with anything, you can rely on me, though. Especially since... The uncertain look crossed his face again. Well, never mind. Are you heading back to the dorms? Um, yes. Nice, me too. We can go together. Why are they all so nice? He pumped his fist into the air. I glanced in the, into the classroom. Mai was still talking to Mimi, looking like she was about to rip the girl's head off. She wasn't going anywhere. Sure, let's go. But as we turned around to leave the hall, we were interrupted by someone wearing a yellow and gray jacket. The rival club's jacket. My heart stopped. Standing before us was a tall man with cheekbones like no tomorrow. <laughs> what? I didn't recognize him from our class, which must mean he was one of the other hidden black members. I have no idea who you are. I can't tell from the picture. I didn't know whether I should scoff at him or ignore him, but before I could do anything, PBG held out his hand for a high five. Oh, it's Jeff! PB and Jeff. Wait, he's... I thought he was normal boots too. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Jeff returned the gesture and the two locked into a conversation. Oh, I love Jeff. He's so nice. PBG, you pumped about the soccer match? Yeah, I've been waiting for this day all summer. Are you busy? I'm trying to get the team together right now for a last minute practice. You in? I am so in. I have nothing to do for the rest of the day. Are my cleats still in your locker? Yep. Awesome, let's go then. But PBG, you just said you were going to walk me to the dorms. Jeff briefly looked at me and pointed. PBG turned around, surprised I was still waiting. Oh, Hannah. Sorry, I gotta go. See you in class tomorrow. I'll make sure to bring my thinking cap. He put on an invisible cap and gave me a thumbs up. What a dweeb. Oh, wait. Do you want to come to our game? It's in a few weeks and the first one, it's the first one of the year. So it would be cool if you came to watch us. Mostly me because I'm the star player. Look at that fucking s smug smirk. Just like, yeah. Wow, thanks. Sure, why the fuck not? That sounds really fun. I would love to come. Woo! Thanks, that really means a lot to me. Usually the first game doesn't conjure a big crowd. Can I bring Mai? She might have planned on going anyways, but she was always including me in things. I wanted to do the same for her. Totally! Bring as many people as you want! Fill up the stands! He left with Jeff, and I headed back to the dorms. I'm gonna end this episode off here. I... I missed playing this game, because it's been a while, as I said in the beginning. And I really want to date a YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Share with your friends if they like, I don't know, soccer. I don't like soccer, but maybe your friends do. Bye! -bye.